welcome to the magic channel firstly a big thanks for all our viewers and subscribers who are supporting us in our journey if you have any questions or doubts on the previous videos please do mention them in the comment section we will address them as early as possible let's jump into this week's content so to start with let's recap on what we have done last week so we have gone through how to build a native Android application using React Native, so which typically converts an MP4 application into MP3. We have seen how to build front end using React Native, and we have seen how to uh, build a back end application and how to integrate them using the JNI layer. So all the details we have gone through and how to install the app and how to debug the logs. So all those basic details we have gone. So this week we will mainly focus on the Play Store process like how to rename the debug APK and what are the limitations of the debug APK, key generation, app icons, release build, testing the release build, console settings and then pushing for internal testing. So let's start with the first point. So, so in general if you build any APK the default name will be app debug dot APK using the react native commands so if you are not comfortable with this name we can just rename it I will quickly show how to rename it so here in the build dot gradle which is under the Android app so you can go to this build types so here you have a section called debug section and here you can put a name my output file name is multimagics hyphen and this is the version name debug and apk name so now if you build your app again npx react native start so it will go through all the build steps and then it will rename your app to multimagics you can see here if you can go to home multimagics android app build outputs apk debug there you go so the now the debug app is multimagics hyphen 03 dot apk so in general during debugging react will automatically push that apk into your mobile and then it will install automatically and it will open the app automatically so now let's say for example if you want to share this apk the debug apk to others also you can share but there is a one limitation you can't run the app if you are copying this into your downloads folder or into your phone storage for example I have copied this and I have go, uh, go I have went to my phone storage here so let me go I will close this internal storage download so for example I am just pasting this here so, uh, so the app is copied to the download folder so now I am going here so I am going to the file manager downloads so here is my app sorry I will I'm, I try to install it so it is installing install the application so the installation is, is in progress so it's almost done so I open the app see so it says unable to load script make sure or either running in the metro so this is the disadvantage of the debug APK you need to push that APK through react native commands you can't explicitly copy and uh, put it in your phone storage and run it you can share it to your others friends so that is one limitation I just want to mention so now let's move on to the actual Play Store process so, the, so you can refer to this link like uh, how to publishing the react native app to a good play store so as mentioned in this documentation so this this same command also works for the ubuntu since java is installed so you need to check first whether you have a key tool application here so let's check that once okay so i have here a key tool application here so using this key tool I can generate a signed key so this is the command I am using 
for key generation uh, as you can see here key tool pair store type key store this is my scene multi magic siphon signed key key store this is my key name and this is the alias name multi magic signed key and i'm using the rsa algorithm to generate the key yeah so this is how my this is the command actually so now when the when this command is given you will be asking a set of questions so let's go through that once uh, for example see whenever this command is given you will be asking you need to give a password and you need to give your first name last name ct all those details and all those details you have to give and finally a key will be generated so the generated key we have copied it in the high level layer of our project for example if you go to our project uh, git multi magics media suit and then inside the our android application yeah here is our key multi magics key so we have an app we have a signed key now so now we need to ensure our app also has the default icons I mean not the default icons so for that you need to generate the icons you can go to over the net and just click like generate icons you can just design one basic and then you can generate a keys so here for a for us here are the generated keys Android app source main uh, resources yeah so these are all our icon app icons this is square rectangle and the uh, circle so all the basic all the different layers of the app icons are available and you need to keep it ready here in this year so now you have the signed key and you have your app icons ready now you can start building the release build actually so in the, in the so in the, in the first step you need to build a react native build android mode release so what this command does so as mentioned here okay sorry so before running that command you need to set up your gradle variables here and and also you need to configure them in that properties file so all these things you need to put here in the gradle dot properties file which is under android so you need to mention your signed key and your key alias and your store name and password and also in the build dot gradle which is under this app build.gradle you need to mention this in the release con format like all this information your app file and all those details you need to fill and also in the release section again you need to populate this you need to write your app name multi magics variant version name and then sign keys and all those things you need to mention in this build gradle okay so all these steps were neatly mentioned in this documentation, official documentation. So you can just copy paste them. Okay. So now as mentioned here, you need to generate the release AAP. So this is the command. Uh, so once that command is executed, you will be getting a release AAP. So which is under Android app, build, outputs, bundle, release. So, so for in the case of bundle there is the default name is app release dot AAP so you can just simply rename here so for example in our case it is multi magics multi magics 0 0.3 signed key so whichever whichever name is convenient to you we are following this naming convention so yeah so so far we have generated a key app icons and the release bundle is ready so now the next steps are you need to uh, install this release build and check whether everything is fine before actually uploading it to the play store so now before uh, running it in the play store uh, initially you just delete this app from your um, uh, which is which is a debug build okay so now you can install the release build 
by running this command directly like npm run android yeah npm run android mode release so this will directly install the release build on your phone or you can just copy paste the apk from that uh, android app location to your mobile storage directly so in this case it will directly work so as we can see uh, also this release build overcomes the limitations of the debug build so for simplicity i am just copying that to the internal storage once so i go to the outputs i go to the apk i go to the release now in the from the release i copy this i go to the internal storage uh, and then i paste it here okay it's already there i say replace okay no go to let me see how it looks like okay so here is the file manager just got downloaded this okay install the app okay install okay open the app there you go so earlier using the debug build we were not able to open the app explicitly while we went copying now using the release build you can share it you can copy it whatever you can so that's the advantage of the release build rather than a debug build okay so now we have seen the advantages of the release build and then we have installed it on our mobile and then we are able to run it okay so now next go next see the how to upload this app to the uh, google play store so you need to log into your developer console so this is the account we are maintaining as an organization so here we need to go to this section called um, yeah releases overview so currently we have a couple of releases which are already available for internal testing but you need to go for the testing section create open testing and then you need to fill out all the for example if you go here to the open testing okay so let's see what are all the questions it asks actually okay. okay i think it is still loading yeah so this is a new testing so one thing is you need to close all the existing testings and then you need to create open a new testing and then you need to fill out all the details like countries regions and who can add you in the testers all the details you have to uh, include uh, and then also please remember that uh, you need to mention the store presence store presence in the hands how your app looks when someone is searching for in the play store so he, here is the main store listing so here you can see here our app name short description full description our logo future graphics and the screenshot so all those you have to mention and then you have to after uh, you can this is not uh, like very tough thing to do you can fill out all the details once you create fill out all the details in the open testing you can go to the internal testing section and it will see currently which release so we have the version 0 0.2 which is under available in the play store but only for the internal testers not to the public so and we have all the list of testers group we have this different test groups you are we already shared our app so currently this app is in alpha is in alpha stage so once this alpha testing is done then we need to uh, close this alpha testing and then we can go to beta and from beta we can go to public so during this open testing only uh, we need to actually upload all the uh, our signed key our signed app aap file all those details it will come here so you can just simply click oh you can click here create new release and then it will ask for all the set of questions so everything you can just walk through so if you have any questions on this you can contact us yeah so so far we have covered 
the how to build an android native application from from scratch from desktop and how we got transition to android and how we are pushing it to the play store so in the next video we will go through how to build this mp4 to mp3 application used on windows using an mfc application okay so keep watching this space for more videos and thank once again thank you all for supporting us in this wonderful journey and also last i want to mention is we are maintaining a blog regarding all our findings you can see here where you can all the all the videos are will be in the blog and will be providing more description in the coming days once again a big thank to all the viewers please do support us take care bye bye